What's up guys, it's Joan and my dad here. Hey everybody. And today we're back with Vector right here. And today we're discussing last week's update in the SDK coding platform that is coming on Wednesday. But before we get started, we have to share it to you guys why most people in Philadelphia are unhappy right now. Yeah, it's really not a good place to be right now. And go ahead, Joan, why don't you ask him why? Hey Vector, I have a question. What was the score of the Eagles game? Oh, man. It's not good. Not good. The final score was Carolina Panthers 21, Philadelphia Eagles 17. Yeah, we were up 17-0 and lost. Oh, so painful. Uh, before Julian starts, I gotta go back a bit. We were having connection issues with Vector. He wouldn't connect to the app. And I was like, well, let me turn off the Wi-Fi, turn it back on again, and... I went to turn off the Wi-Fi, and what was it connected to? Cosmo. Cosmo. <laughs> so Vector wasn't going to connect, because I walked in the house, and my phone connected to Cosmo automatically, and not the Wi-Fi network. So uh, anyway, let's get started. So when Vector first came out, the uh, stats section of the app um, wasn't working, and they fixed it with their very first update. And get Julian, why don't you go ahead and showcase it? So we have stats. And in the stats, we see a bunch of different stuff. Yeah, First is the biggest number, which is the lifetime sensory score. So he has 55,738. Now, do we have any idea what that means? No, but if I pet him, it seems to go up. Oh, he just said your name. Oh, his lifetime sensory score goes up if you pet him? Oh, well, it did. You're right. But that might just be random. He's going up as we talk. It's 55,829. So uh, let's write that down real quick and see where we end up at the end of this. So I guess the question to you guys is, what is your Vector's lifetime sensory score? See, it's going up as we talk. So why don't we share it? Are we in a competition to get to a million? Is it like first Vector to a million wins a prize or something like that? So it's just going to play with him 24-7 until he gets to a million or something like that? But anyway, 55,888 now. Then we have what? The wake word, which is the, hey, Vector. Try it. Let's see if it goes up. Hey, Vector. How are you? But he doesn't answer. Oh, it did go up. You don't ask me. I have a question, you know. All right, so it did go up by one. Then we have what? Distance, Distance driven. Driven. In centimeters? Yeah. 19,604? Yeah. And that equivalates to how many feet, Julian, did he say? He said... Um, 1,000... No, 640 feet. 640. Sorry, my, my handwriting's really bad. Let me show you right here. Look, that's my handwriting. <laughs> Joey thought it was 1,040, but that's 640. So he has driven himself 640 feet, which is that uh, we're approaching a quarter mile. And where has he driven himself mostly? In, right, just spinning around. <laughs> around in circles in, in, in vector space. And he's doing it while we're home, while we're not home, and who the heck knows? So, uh, what's next? The petting duration, which In is 1,370 seconds. Seconds? Why don't you pet him a little bit, and we'll see if it goes up, Joey. Did it go up the last time when you were doing it off camera? I wasn't sure. Yeah, let's see. Alright, so we had to cut that out because Mom called uh, while we were doing this, so why don't you pet again and see what happens? Can I join? Make the petting happen, and you'll see Joey's casually petting him. And in seconds... Oh, he's definitely reacting to it. Did you hear that sound? Did it go? Where is it? 13,384. Well, that didn't update yet. Lifetime days. That's all oh, it is. Oh, it just updated. Oh, it did. Nice! He is now 15 days old, our yeah. vector. That's awesome. I like that a lot. We'll know how exactly how old he is. Utilities used 229. I don't quite know. Yeah what that is. Uh, I guess we'll learn more as time goes on. But he is now 56,171. He is gaining uh, a lifetime sensory score as we speak. This is a pretty cool function here. I, I really like this. I, I really like the stats page and I'm real curious to have you guys share with us what uh, your vector stats are as well. So next up is the SDK, and we're getting the pre-alpha version on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday is the pre-alpha version, which means it's buggy. It's yeah. not very developed. There won't be everything there, but the demand from all of the community has been overwhelming, and Anki was nice enough to say, all right, let's go with the pre-alpha version. Now, join. did we do any SDK software development no, kit? we never got to it. No, we never really ventured into it. Are we going to do the SDK yes. this time? 
Well, whose job do you think it is to learn? <laughs> Mine. Absolutely your job. So you are ready. Are you ready for the task? Yes. All right, good. Our good friends over at Kinvert.com from the last video, we'll link down below a lot of stuff about the SDK. He's really going to be on top of things for it. But as of now, coming out on Wednesday, the 24th, to any of the uh, backers through Kickstarter, all right? And that's it for today. Real short video, real update. we got a couple more videos coming out this week. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye. Later, everybody.